हेलो एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून एंड गुड इवनिंग माय नेम इज विश्वदीप एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन पीडब्ल्यू गेट वाला चैनल फॉर इंग्लिश सो टुडेज सेशन इज ऑल अबाउट सैंपल पेपर फॉर गेट 2026 प्रिपरेशन इफ यू आर नॉट अवेयर ऑफ द सैंपल पेपर आई विल टेल यू फर्स्ट थिंग दैट एवरी ईयर व्हेन एवर गेट एग्जामिनेशन इज गेटिंग कंडक्टेड व्हाट हैपेंस द गेट कंडक्टिंग कमिटी और ऑर्गेनाइजिंग कमिटी विल गिव यू सम सैंपल पेपर्स लाइक लास्ट ईयर previous years and so many years they are sending it why just because they want to give you an idea that what kind of paper may come sometimes they upload as it is previous year question only sometimes they give a fresh paper like 2024 gate da was the very first time they have introduced so they have given very fresh paper for it but certainly you will have an idea what kind of paper they are going to conduct by looking at their questions of sample paper now if not sample paper you don't have any sample paper then you can go for gate previous year questions as the sample paper just because that is what the base we have if previous year this kind of questions have been asked this year similar okay similar difficulty or around difficulty or around concept only will be asked now how to actually use them so very simple thing it is exactly like a test series if you are writing a test series how you utilize the test series for yourself and your preparation so it will be same to same but little different just because test series we are preparing and these sample papers of course prepared by the gate authorities now look at this time first thing is first read the pattern and weightage mapping so whatever sample paper you are having which is nothing but previous year gate papers so you will have a exact mapping of different different topics mainly mathematics aptitude and your technical courses other technical courses aptitude 15 marks for sure done okay logged it is there for sure mathematics not exactly 15 in computer science and other courses it is 13 marks so you'll have to check other courses in other branches in your specific branch what is the mathematics weightage aptitude 15 and remaining 70 or 72 percent so this weightage will help you that if you are really good in aptitude you can say out of 15 i can score 12 13 marks easily if your mathematics is really good out of 13 marks you can easily score 10 or 12 marks maybe sometimes 13 marks so you will be having surety that okay if this is good i can focus for core courses this much if your math is not good then you can focus on your core courses as according to it so once you understand your subject which subject dominating and which is your favorite course where you can score more that becomes your dominating course and hence you will be having an idea second thing check the question type mix like sometimes in other branches msq multiple select questions are very less but in computer science msqs are too much you can see from last five years i guess they have introduced this msq type questions 21 2 3 4 5 yes five years so in computer science paper especially the number of msq questions are so many like 15 16 questions are coming as msq questions it is too good number yes but other branches some branches are having only one or zero question of msq type so you will have to identify how many msq just because msqs are tough and will take time based on that you can increase your speed you can try how you will attempt the paper okay fine now it will give you a roadmap for your subjects and its priority that which subject is having more weightage based on that you can focus on that subject more where you can score more just because finally in gate examination the target is to score more by solving the question whichever subject can give you more more marks you will have to focus on that first second thing is time management iit style means see the thing is in iit all the previous year paper if you see one mark questions are kind of direct questions either small numerical question it will be you will just apply a small concept solve the question quickly within a minute or maybe directly from the classroom training or direct conceptual you know uh, training whichever you had in the classroom from there only from your notes only a question is coming which is one mark question direct question you can quickly make it possible 
then in two mark question there are good mix of each and every type of question some are moderate seen or similar to seen type question and some are very difficult or very new type questions so what you can understand is you can manage your time in such a way easy one mark question first 60 minute you can solve but this was possible when all one mark questions were coming first and later on they were showing in your paper two mark questions last four five years they have started mixing one and two mark questions all so whichever question you see at first place that is one mark question or two mark question it can be mixed so if that is the case you cannot do do this particular strategy right so what happens in that case you will have to just understand that one mark question if it is and if it is easy you solve it within a minute or so so that two mark question every two mark question you can give little extra time sometimes you can save such kind of one 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 minute from each you know one mark question at the end so that you can solve some tough questions two three questions in last 30 or 40 minutes so this is the way you will just do one mark question quickly one minute maybe lesser than that sometimes two mark questions three minute two minute depends on the length of the question and its conceptual depth how much depth question they have asked next practicing this order will help you of course definitely but order can be changed as per the examination pattern next thing is error finding the error that is one of the most most important part of your preparation if you are writing any test any practice you are doing you are doing pyq practice or classroom training practice or whatever we will bring super 1500 series also there also we will have a lot of question practice wherever you practice the question if you make mistake you will have to analyze why if you can understand why then you will be on the top of the world i'm telling you guys all those toppers are having their norm this is their regular routine not the planning this is not the strategy or planning this was their regular routine whenever they solve a question if they cannot solve a question they find out the reason the root cause why they are not able to solve the question and next time onwards they will certainly solve such kind of question or the question from the same topic just because they understood where was the problem you will have to analyze each and every question which you cannot make so first thing possible is conceptual error a particular concept which either you forgot or you did not even study such kind of question comes then you will not be able to make it correct and because of that if you are making wrong revision will help you revise the concept read that concept and you can solve the question based on that next time onwards second type of problem you can have is application error you know the concept you knew it but you could not apply it such kind of so many small small mistakes people do sometimes you are not able to understand how to approach this question if teacher teaches or explains ah oh, sir this though we knew how could we not solve this question sir how i was not able to find out that approach this kind of problem if you face during solving the question then the practice practice is the best possible help you can get if you practice practice and practice you will certainly have the great 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 solution of it last one silly or speeding mistake sometimes you do wrong calculations misread the options etc etc there are so many such kind of things students are answering in two seconds they are asking in milliseconds student answering the numerical value answer into up to two decimal places but question was asked till one decimal place only till rounding off to integer they have asked but you are answering into decimal point so there are so many such kind of thing and sometimes when you speed up just because you have only three hours to solve all 65 questions right so because of that speed up if you do then you may miss some information or you may do you may not read certain question in the proper manner 
So in that case, what you can do is such kind of silly mistakes if you are doing, maintain a log. Whatever silly mistake you do, like in computer science, bits to bytes or byte to bit conversion is a very simple mistake people do. do they forget about it. Yes, lot of time it has happened. It happens during my classes also. So if you have the same kind of an issue, just maintain a log. Just see which problem you are facing and write it down. If you write it down, next time onwards, you will not do it. Before, you know, going for or attempting any test or solving any question, practice question, you check out that log where you can make mistake. So that next time you remember where we can make mistake and how to not do it. Build accuracy log where you are making correct answers, where you are making wrong answers and so on. If any question you see, which is very different than usuals, then you know, collect all those such kind of unusual different variety of questions in a small document. You can maintain it online. Whenever you go for any test of that course or complete subjects, you just see that particular document once so that you can revise all those different kind of questions once again. Subject wise tracking sheet you should have. Make an Excel sheet or a notebook. Log after every sample paper. Which subject? You attempted how many questions among them, how many corrected, how many wrong, how many you skipped so that you will have an idea this subject I do have a good grip or not. Sometimes you will skip more number of questions just because you forgot a lot of things or you are not able to answer at all. Sometimes you will attempt more questions from some subject just because those subjects are very favorite to you and very easy to you. So you will be having an idea that on which subject you will have to focus more based on this log. Weak topic, of course, immediate revision is needed. After three, four paper, you will have a pattern and this particular pattern will be followed by you again and again and again. So that you can identify all your mistakes during the preparation itself and you can solve them slowly, slowly, slowly. When you will go for gate examination, you will be having almost all the errors and all the mistakes identified and solved so that in gate paper, you don't make mistake, many mistakes. And that is where your complete rank is hidden, my friend. So if you feel you make mistake, solve them now. If you feel, sir, I can't make mistake, try to attempt some test papers. You will identify all your mistakes and keep identifying. Do not delay writing the test and attempting such kind of papers. Now, benchmarking with difficulty. What does it mean? IIT sample paper often reflect the real exam toughness. So what happens? You will have an idea that at this current preparation level, how many easy questions you can solve correctly? How many wrong? How many tough questions you are able to solve correctly and how many wrong? How many moderate questions you can solve and how many wrong? Among 65 questions, are you able to actually attempt all questions or not? Just because time is limited, three hours only. So in that case, you will have an idea initially that on what aspects of your preparation you will have to work. Initially, I am 100% sure that everybody who attempts full length paper, those people will not be able to score well. Why? Two reasons. Either they will not be able to remember all the concepts. Second, they will not be able to even attempt all 65 questions within three hours. So, try to maintain that particular accuracy that even if easy question comes, from any topic, whichever topic, whichever subject, you should be able to solve them with accurate answer. So try to have 100% accuracy in your easiest question. Those are like seen question directly coming from your notes, classroom notes only. If you remember all concepts, you will be able to answer them correctly. From moderate question, try to have more, more percentage of accuracy around maybe 70, 75% or 80%. If you can increase and push these two sections, your tough questions, even if you don't attempt well, then too you can be in the topper. Just because tough questions will be very limited, except of course the paper itself is very, very tough. Most of the questions are tough. But apart from that, it's not happening. Every year, every paper, every set, this is not happening. That paper will be very, very tough. So 
my dear friends if you are going to attempt the paper try to push your limits from simple and moderate type questions which are directly like pyq type questions or classroom training questions directly coming from your regular concepts which you have learnt in the class and practiced a lot if you can push your limit from there then tough questions if you are let's say not able to attempt 15 mark questions also you are leaving out of 85 which you attempted you can easily score 70 5 or 80 depends on your branch of course that particular mark distribution can vary so tough question will become bonus if you will be able to solve these in the limited time that is my strategy also when i used to write the paper gate paper last time i have written in 2018 exactly eight year before when iit guwahati itself has conducted the paper so in 2018 also my strategy was same when I want to attempt the paper, I see the question I attempted, I see the question I attempted and I try to attempt the paper quickly at first pass. If any question which is taking more than 5 minutes for me in the class, in the, in the particular paper examination and if I feel like this question definitely will take time, I used to mark them as review, sorry, mark them as review and will solve at the end. In such a way, I used to solve all the easy and moderate questions in first pass making you know a review mark on those questions which are tough lengthy and i used to solve the first pass within 2 or 15 minutes so last 45 minutes i could attempt the tough paper tough questions with ease of mind that i have attempted all those questions which are easy for me and i could attempt them now in last 45 minutes if i'll attempt two questions or three questions also those are bonus for me bonus questions if time permits you can solve those tough questions with extra time maybe 10 minutes each question three questions if you are solving four question if you are solving and if you can make two question correct well and good you are happy of course you should be just because you are getting extra four marks after solving all the sure shot questions then revision integration after analyzing the paper and if you are facing like this concept i am little weak in i'm forgetting keep revising them revising them so five takeaway per paper you just see which particular you know topic you are weak at where you need more revision where you need more uh, you know consistency or more practice or whatever just take away points you keep writing and read those takeaways so that you can just ensure that you don't repeat your errors whatever errors you have okay there are some questions i'm gonna take us sir i have recently started preparing for gate like hardly five months in this enough to crack gate uh depends depends how much knowledge you have of the courses how good your practice is how good your memory is how good your intention per day or efficiency per day is how good your problem solving skills are and how much time per day you can spend so much factors are there so many factors are there but in next five months also you can make wonder of this gate exam preparation and can make wonder for your life possible is everything i have seen a student in third year with just four and five months preparation he got all india rank 19 so if he can do it of course the person of equal caliber or equal dedication can also do it it depends what exactly is your dedication and how you want to put it thank you so much for listening to this particular video if you still have some doubts put it in the comment box so that we can pick it up and we can come up with the solution of those problems also see you in the next video thank you have a great day happy learning bye bye